All right, in this video, we are going to be talking about what I think is actually the new best weapon in the game. So if you saw the updates for update 4.5, I think somewhere in the patch notes, it said that Elo's hammer scaling. Well, if you didn't know, Elo's hammer, Elo hammer scaling actually got a lot better. Uh, it's M1 scaling used to be really bad prior to this update, and now it's like it scales very similarly, similarly to other weapons. Its base damage, I think, is still a little low, but it does actually really good M1s. And then this mixed with the fact that Pounding Festival hits a lot and does a lot of damage, I think maybe makes this weapon the best weapon in the game. I know people have been talking about Scythe, and I think I even said Scythe was the best, but I think Elo's Hammer is actually the best now. I'm not gonna lie. And, um, it's just, it's just so good. Like, this weapon's buff was absolutely crazy. Um, the build we're gonna be using is a little different from the builds we've been using. It's a gum build, too. We have barely anything in gum. We're just using it strictly for that bazooka guard break so I can use it after Pounding Festival. Uh, but here's the build. It's mainly M1 based. Do that what you will. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to actually using this. I used it a little bit in my last video. And that's when I realized I wanted to make a video on it. So here we are. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. And I will, uh, you know, see you guys in the matches. Okay, um, first match, I wasn't even ready, but we already got hit by an eruption, and we're fighting an Elo's Hammer user, so that's a little worrying. Okay, he dodged my bazooka. He blocks a whole lot. That's a little annoying, but we'll guard break him. And see that 57 and M1? That makes this combo a whole lot better. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Wait, hold on, bro. Did you, you guys just see that? If if that does not convince you that Elo's Hammer is, like, the best weapon in this game, I don't know what will. I'm not gonna lie. Also, this guy is kind of slow. Um, there we go. But, yeah, just, like, the only thing that was holding back this weapon prior to this from being super good were it's slow M1s and it's low damage. Like, the fact that I had both really sucked. But now that it, all it has are slow M1s, it's so good. It's so good. Like, the fact they made up for that is just great. My, does my pistol only do nine? No way. Oh, I thought he would block because he holds block a lot. All right, his only does 28, bro. That's not that much. That is not much at all. Okay, you're going to eat this bazooka, which still does decent damage with barely anything. But I'm not even using it for the damage, so it doesn't even matter to me. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, that was kind of janky. What is this guy? Bro, are you seriously ulting right now? Oh, okay, looks like we got to jump back, jump back, jump back. How long does this last for, bro? Oh, I accidentally ballooned. I did not mean to. Alright, and this should finish him. I'm not going to lie, it really should. Oh, he got so lucky that that Collier got PB'd. Because if it didn't, he would definitely have been dead a while ago. Well, not a while ago, but literally like one more skill. Does that finish it? Ah! I really didn't want to have to die, but it's whatever. We got him super low, so we should be able to just walk up to him. Bink. No. Oh. Really, bro? Call the air. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah. When you combine this with those hot... Oh, I'm going to do the math. Next time next time I'm going to fight, I'm going to do the math. And I'm going to figure out just how much 1M1 combo into Pounding Festival does. Because it's too much. It's too much. I'm not going to lie. This weapon should probably get nerfed. Just like Pounding Festival's damage. But um, great first match. On to the next one. Okay, but yeah. So we're fighting a Scythe user. So let's see how this goes. Um, it's a pretty good compa... Oh, it's a Horo Scythe user of all things. That kind of makes this a little bit of a pain. Oh, he's actually got good combos. Props to him. But we don't... Okay. Alright, you're not getting that off, bro. Okay, I guess you did get that off, bro. <laughs> oh my god, I just want to get the combo off. Okay, and then we'll up tilt into a pounding festival. And then we'll Geppo, and then we'll call the air. And then we'll get a new M1 combo, and boom, just like that. There we go. 
Ah, <sighs> holy, you're trapped. Yep, you know what? I'm just gonna take the toxicity because it's kind of deserving with how broken this weapon is. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I would argue with him, but that gen that combo genuinely took, like, no skill. Like, it just did so much damage so fast that it just... I can't even... I can't even disagree. Uh, let's see. Um, oh... Horo is an interesting fruit to fight against, for sure. Oh, Pounding Festival is still on cooldown. I forget it has a bit of a long cooldown. But, that's cool, that's cool. 16 M1, by the way. So, the scaling on this is, like, really good. I'm assuming this guy only has, like, probably, like, CB Starmer, maybe. And we'll go like this, and we'll... Oh! Rocket is still on cooldown? Really? Come on, let me block. Perfect. Oh, we should be good. And we'll Bazooka... And then we'll pistol. And then we will... Oh, he cancelled my pounding festival with a twirl. Alright, but that's fine. This weapon is too good. And I am so bad. M1 damage. Yeah, I know it's an M1 damage main, but... What are you gonna do about it, bro? I mean, technically you're an M1 damage main too. Your fruit does no damage. Uh, but... What's it called? The weapon is just too good like it really needs all right let's see uh we're fighting a goro user who uses cracking great sword uh feel bad i got that m1 off a bit too easy so now he's gonna have to put up with this oh uh, i messed it up for some reason and i didn't get up i don't know how it didn't get up but it just didn't so that's great oh and we took off the stock already it does too much damage dude i don't know how else to put it like, when you have 50-something up to 60 damage M1s, and then you're doing 60 a hit with Pounding Festival, and then you can, like, get off maybe another M1 combo after that, it's just too much. Like, imagine if I mix this with Goro, too. Oh, my God, bro. I'd be unstoppable. I would be too crazy. Um, let's see. Oh. Oh, he has he does 36. Does he have everything in Goro? my god the crazy guy what is that build he is using oh okay oh oh nice nice job on almost getting off those M ones as well i guess oh <laughs> uh, wait what is he what is he 121 bro are you running a dungeon build my boy what is that okay i don't know how that worked but it did and since it does so much damage it wraps up the match. <sighs> I don't know what Flo you was thinking, bro. Giving it this high of a damage skill. Um, giving it all that. Again, it's, 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 it's too crazy. It's too crazy. It genuinely is. But, um, yeah, next match. I don't know what else to say. I really don't. All right. Let's see. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> um, of course, you can have a screeny. But, yeah, I mean, obviously this weapon's, like, completely, like, like, we can agree this needs a nerf, right? I think everyone who's seeing this video can agree that this needs a nerf. And I feel like the nerf would not be too hard to implement, like, at all. Just reduce the damage on Pounding Festival, right? Like, that's, it's kind of like a, a little bit of, like, almost a common sense. Oh, he got that off? 67? Are you serious, my boy? I mean, I, I don't I have no right to complain. Oh, he has no HP, the poor guy. Why would he why would he run this build, bro? You don't even have 900 HP? Well, I hope those, that M1 damage was worth it, because... Yeah, oh, oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, what? Oh, woke. I don't, I don't, I don't know what just happened. But on to the next match, I guess. Okay, so, I mean, I know using this with gum probably isn't, like, the best thing I could be doing. Oh, this guy doesn't have any damage reduction items. Well, that sucks. But, it works nonetheless, you know? Like, it gets the job done, and I'm only using gun really for the extra guard break. Oh, he actually has a decent amount of HP for once. Oh such a shame such a shame i'm using a brain dead build yeah i know i know it's dumb but um yeah it it really uh 
it, it it could definitely be used i was really trying to think of what to say i stuttered like an idiot anyway um it could really be used better with other things like goro or hell even zushi would be better but i was like ah i don't feel like switching fruits just for this so oh and you get pb twice bro this is not this is not this ain't your, this ain't this ain't your time my boy this ain't the bonk 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 there we go and that wraps up another match brain dead and it really is it really is the buffing them ones without taking the rest of the weapon for consideration is kind of a dumb move but whatever okay running out of things to talk about about a sledgehammer that definitely just needs to be nerfed because it's way too good but the combo ability is there the damage is all there you literally do hundreds of damage why does my capo not work and why does me speaking english also not work whenever i just say hundreds of damages i'm slow sometimes um there we go a little pistol i guess which pistol if you don't know is damage got nerfed so now it does like almost no damage which really defeats the purpose because it used to be like decent poke damage it wasn't even like great or anything it was just decent and now it's just kind of like horrible poke damage like nine damage bro what am i gonna do with nine damage huh that that's not even poke damage that adds up that's poke damage that you brush off your shoulder that's like nothing but um yeah about the only balanced thing about this weapon is elo smash um <laughs> I don't know what else like the scaling is good now and it's like it's m1 damage is really high but combining that with something like pounding festival just isn't balanced so it just sits in this tough spot um is this guy good i shouldn't have done that i should have just m1 into pounding festival like a normal person but instead i wanted to go up to him and do it also what is he doing okay looks like that's another match wrapped up very quickly I don't, I don't know how many more matches I could do. I want this video to be a little long, but if I keep wrapping up my matches so fast and have nothing to say, then I'm gonna have no other choice but to end this video. Like I don't, I don't know. I really don't know what to say. This weapon is just good, like too good. All right, we're doing final impressions. Don't know what else to do. So the weapon, obviously, super good. Everybody knows, you know, it's not a secret that the weapon is great. Um, I don't know how to true combo into Pounding Festival. I think you can do it out of M1s, but I normally rely on up tilt, but people have been M1ing me through my up tilt, so I guess that doesn't work as well as I thought it did. Um, regardless of that, Elo Smash is still a really good skill. Pounding Festival is obviously what kind of makes this overpowered in, in, um, uh, in what? In, 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 when used with the high M1s. I can't speak. Uh, you just get like super high damage combos and then like you get a combo out of pounding festival too it's just it's crazy but um yeah i could imagine this being better actually if you probably had mink and then you electrified your fist and then switch to elo's hammer because then your m1s would be electrified having extra stun and your pounding festival would actually probably become a 100 percent up to true combo if it isn't already maybe it's just something you have to do fast and i'm doing it really slow but um i don't know Again, I'm only using Gum Gum in this build really for Bazooka. It's like, that's why I didn't really want to use a different fruit. It's just like, I just wanted a good guard break because I don't like relying strictly on weapons and I couldn't remember what the cooldowns were like. So, uh, yeah. Look at that. I won't jump like that. We'll go like that. And then we'll Elo Smash and Bazooka. It's genuinely so strong, and I, I don't know I don't know how you release a weapon or how you like balance change a weapon, and it gets into a state like this, and you just don't see anything wrong with it. It's slightly mind-boggling, like like really you 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 released it like this, <laughs> but again, I'm not shocked. There's been more broken things out there. But I genuinely do think that you could say that Elo's Hammer is the best weapon in the game because of this. Like, I'm not going to lie. I really do. And I really do think that this would probably make Elo's, Hammer val Elo's Hammer's value a lot higher. Like, I know a lot of people have it, but now considering the fact that it's completely an exclusive weapon, can't get it anymore unless you trade, it just makes the weapon just so much better. So, um, yeah, 
that's all I have to say for this video. See you guys next time. Peace.